Hello everyone and welcome back to the Perfect French with Dylan. Today is a very exciting day, we are starting the grammar course. So there will be a video a day for 45 days. One lesson a day for 45 days, around 45 days. The videos are free to watch but you can get the book as a PDF on Amazon if you prefer the paperback or also as an ebook. The book includes all the notes, all the lists that I'm going to give you and more. I don't have the time to put everything in the videos, it will be too long. It also includes all the exercises that I'm going to tell you to do. So when I say now you can do the exercise 1.3, well it's in the book. Also you will get all the audio of all the examples, all the lists that I have in the book. They all have audios and they're going to be uploaded after each lesson. The book also includes a review of the conjugation course. It is not going to be included in the videos. We are not going to review that on the videos, on the lesson. It's just in the book. Talking about the book, today we are going to go from page 9 to page 11. So today we are starting the first chapter with the simple sentence, la phrase simple. So the point that I hear a lot from French learners is that they have trouble to build a sentence. So in this course we are going to start with a simple sentence and then we are going to look at each part, each component and then we are going to add more. So we are going to start with subject, conjugated verb, article and noun. That's the sentence that we are going to start with. Then we are going to look at all the different types of articles. We are going to add the adjectives. Then we are going to build more difficult sentences with everything that he implies. So let's see a first sentence. We have Je mange une pomme. Je mange une pomme. Je is the subject, is the subject pronoun actually. Je, which is I. Mange is the conjugated verb. Une is the article. And then pomme is the noun. So that's where we start. We're starting with subject, conjugated verb article and noun. For those of you who already know a little bit of French, it's very basic, but going back to the basic will allow you to understand more later, trust me. It's another one. Tu regardes un film. Tu regardes un film. Tu is the subject, regard is the conjugated verb, un is the article, film is the noun. Simple sentences are built exactly the same way in French and in English. Sometimes in English you don't have an article. For us, we use an article in front of the noun. I would say 99.99% of the time. We are going to have a lesson on this later in the course about when we don't use an article. It's very easy, you will see. Another one. Il boit un jus d'orange. Il boit un jus d'orange. Il is the subject, bois is the conjugated verb, un is the article, and then, this one is a little bit tricky, jus d'orange is actually only one noun. It's just like orange juice. Orange juice is one noun, so for us we have three, we have jus d'orange, okay? Two more, just to make sure you understand, we have je suis une femme, Je suis une femme. Je is the subject. Suis, conjugated verb. Une is the article. Femme is the noun. If you want to say you're a man, tu es un homme. Tu es un homme. Tu is the subject. Est is the conjugated verb. Un is the article. And homme is the noun. I forgot to say that I'm not going to fill your head with very complicated terms of grammar, etc. I'm going to use the bare minimum for the terms. I want you to be able to recognize the different part of the sentence without thinking, oh, this is this type, this type, etc. This is not useful. If you think about your own language, you can probably guess what the parts are without knowing exactly what it is. So I'm going to talk about them, I'm going to name them, but I'm not going to refer all the time to them by the grammar name. For example, if I say un homme, you know that homme is a noun and that un is the article, okay? We're seeing that to see the different type of article, the gender of nouns, etc. 
but I'm not going to always come back to it. It has to become natural, okay? When you feel comfortable, you can do the exercises 1.1 and 1.2. If you want to practice your listening skills and you want to make sure that the pronunciation is correct, go download the audio, they are included with the book. So if you bought the PDF of the book, go on Teachable, they're going to be there after each lesson. Very important. I don't give them all at the beginning. They're going to come after each lesson. And if you bought the book on Amazon, you have a link and you go download them. That's it for today. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment if you have a question. I would be more than happy to help you. And I will see you tomorrow for another lesson. A demain.